Hello everyone and welcome back to Sousa Plays. Uh, we're playing as dwarves, or we're trying to, uh, when our opponents don't concede against us. We had another concede win, that's two concede wins in five games. And then we have one win, one tie and one uh, loss in the games we've actually played. We do have enough money for a 15th player, uh, and by 15th I mean 13th. Um, might be a bit too soon for that. What you can do uh, as a dwarf, of course, is you get um, dirty player on your longbeard, and then just buy extra longbeard and use use that for uh, fouling. Or, as one of our opponents mentioned in an earlier game, you could go for the stadium upgrade that gives uh, 50,000 discount on star players and then we could use um, the Dwarven Thrower who is a secret weapon to foul because he would only cost 10,000 and you could probably afford that every game without too much of a cost actually buying a long beard costs 70,000 70, so you can have him for free for 7 games Although only when you're on your home field, of course. And he could foul, at least for one drive. But, I'm not sure we're gonna get anything here. Let's just level up Thirsty Thomas and see what we can get for a Longbeard. What do I want? More guard, probably. So let's see, roll the dice. It is a 9, almost a special. But uh, we're gonna go with another guard. It's pretty good. Especially against bashy teams. So we now have three mighty blow and two guard. I think that's a good balance. Hopefully we can get hits with all of them. <clears throat> or at least with some of them. Well, the mighty blows that is, not the guard. No SPP on our runners. That's usually where the SPP ends up. So this is not bad for us actually this development. This long bit's close to a level, this long bit's close to a level. Clear-headed Chester, I guess if he gets MVP he levels, if Drought Duhan gets MVP he levels. And then we have some guys who are just into level 1, or level 2 I guess. But let's see who we're gonna play today. We uh, we played against Bretonians last time. He uh, he forgot to use his 250,000 inducement money. He begged for mercy before the kickoff. Then we injured two of his guys on the first turn, so he gave up. And if all of our games could go like that, then qualifying for the World Cup could be not impossible, even though. We would only be at 18 wins even if we won the rest of them. And I doubt that'll happen. There aren't that many Bretonian players who forget to use 250k inducements in this league. Well, this is going to take a while apparently, so I will make a break and uh, bring you back once we find our opponent here. And... Looks like we ran into a Lizardman team. Oh, wait a minute. Is this Johnny? Johnny's good Lizardman team? No, wait a minute. World Cup Fun Times. I know that name. It's one of the Twitch streamers that I've been watching lately. Okay, he, he could get a wizard against us as well. I think this is a pretty highly ranked team. Isn't this the 12 and 0 team? That's Johnny Fantastic, I think, place. I might have gotten them mixed up. So, you might have seen this game on Twitch then. If he's streaming right now, I'm not sure about that. I was watching some streams earlier. So he's having a good look at our team and deciding if he wants to use the wizard or not. 
This is going to be a really tough game for us because this is a good player. And we get Petty Cash. Let's have a look. And we have. Yeah, it's Jimmy Fantastic, not Johnny Fantastic. Uh, God on the Croxy and one Saurus. The Frenzy Saurus, he likes to use him. Uh, block on most of them. This Skink is going to score at will. Um, he has Tackle. Uh, he has 4 agility sidestep. Another sidestep, a blodge, skink as well. What do we want against him? He really dislikes playing without rerolls. I guess we could go for the half thing. Um, but I don't think that's the correct move. I've seen him play before, so let's... I mean, we gotta go for the wizard, right? The wizard... And a babe? Mm, probably not a babe. Let's get a uh, good old Barrick Farblast and use him as a fowler. Maybe we can get an advantage. He didn't have any extra players. So I think we go with this. And, well, Jimmy. Jimmy Fantastic. Okay. Oh, I forgot to check his team record. I believe he's 12 and 0 or something like that. Of course, he got. He has to play today because tomorrow the new uh, patch comes out with the Norse. Oh, we're playing at his arena, so there's no weather here. He's stopped the weather decision. Our hopefully fouling guy. 12 and 0, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, so, do we want to start an offense and use back Farm Lost? Yeah, let's use yes, offense back Farm Lost early, and then on his drive, we can use our wizard, or if this goes bad. So right, he's 12 and 0. I would really, I would, I I, I want him to to win actually, but of course I, I'm gonna do my best. Uh, right, so we want to hit these sources, I believe, since we have guard and we have mighty blow. Something like this, I suppose. We can hit this guy with Dauntless. Even without Dauntless, we get a 2 die. We can't hit his skinks from here, that's fine. Uh, Barrick Farblast, I guess we use only one of our runners. And Milk Drinker Mitch is off the pitch. The rhymes. And. Yeah, can he? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He could get past us with a blitz here. Uh, we don't need this guy. Let's put these guys up here then. See where we put them. He didn't have a kick, did he? No. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Let's see if we can get lucky here. And break the armor of a sword or two. Oh, then you got the blitz. Well, that's a bad start. And the boar is in reachable position. Well, that's a great start for him. Oh boy. Well, this is not the start I was hoping for. 
Uh, he's going to be able to put skinks under that and around that, into that. Oxygor moving into tackle zones. More sources. This one with guard. Yeah, we would like that to bounce onto him and he fumbles it up off there. Probably fumbles it to here, but uh, that would be very, very lucky. There's the agility skink. If we can get a hit on him, we want, we want to do that. Because with four agility, since skinks are stunty, they can run through tackle zones. And every tackle zone would only be a two plus or a one in. Two. Oh wow, that's a lot of guys there. You know I have a wizard, right? I have to fireball this, don't I? I get six players with a fireball. Two skinks, Croxigore. I didn't want to do this, but. Well, we got the ball carrier. Three resists. We knocked that one source, that's good. Guard source at that. And we got the skink as well. Okay, two knockouts. We can't complain about that. And the ball is loose. Let's see where it goes. Okay, still not super nice. We're tied up. He can catch that with his agility skink next turn. Let's go out here. Barrack Farblast also on the edge, I suppose. Who do I want to blitz? Where do I want to blitz? We can still have these hits. I suppose we might be able to get this guy as well. In a single die. I'm not super fond of that. Bring this guy back. And if I do this, I could hit him and then have a single die. But if Dauntless procs, I can have two chances on him. I guess if I do this. I'll take this hit. Also, it's not needed for the first hit. Uh, yeah, of course, this way. Didn't need Dolphus there either, but we got it. Got him there. The mighty bell didn't work. We could hit him with. No, we could not hit him with Dolphus. We could go here, get an assist on a blitz on the Croxy. If I go there, I could hit him as well. Maybe get behind him. But Dauntless. I think that's worth doing. It leaves a guard guy alone here. Dauntless, please. Okay, of course Dauntless fails the one time we needed it. Take the one die. Ah, it's a skull. And we didn't get anything done. That's bad. I think I've tried a single die on this guy. Well, that's a hit. Do we want to bounce the ball here? Could it get worse for us? I don't think it can get worse for us, so we might as well try. Could definitely get better. I'm not gonna follow in there. Okay, well, I guess that's technically worse for us. Mm. This would be a single die on the Croxy. Okay, so I will go in there then, after some careful thought. And I take a single die on the Croxy, push him off us. We'll push him on us. I guess we push while well, he gets to choose where to go. At least the Croxy is off us. He goes over there. I mean, that means he can go this way. 
We don't want to take that hit, so end game. Right. Bonehead Crotty would be nice. But he's back in there. Can hit us there and be free. But if he wanted to be free, that's not very much. If he wanted to be free, he wouldn't have stepped there anyway, he would have stepped up there. So he might be handing off to this skink and running through tackle zones, but I think at least we can reach this side. Guard here, so we would only get a single eye on him, but this hit is a two die. Actually, is it a three die? Four, five, six. It's almost a three die. We can't get it to be a three die though. Oh, and he has frenzy as well, so if he pushes here, he would then look at. Ah, uh, it would still be a two die actually. Did he just blitz us with a skink? Yeah, he's just... And dodged out. Had to use dodge. Okay, so he's probably going through then. By the way. That's the agility guy. Rolled a six anyway. He gets that push or punch. This is down. And he can now move the ball carrier up to here somewhere. Out on the side so we can't do three, four. We could do two going for us to hit him with tackle. If he goes out here though, we can't unless we dodge. And he has sidestep, so standing on the sideline is not. Not the worst. Hmm, he didn't though. Oh no, I miscounted. We can't reach him that way. And they have sidestep. So this is gonna be tough. We could stand next to him and hope his dodge fails. You might hear some construction noises. They're repairing our porch after tearing it down. Um, hmm. Do I just want to hit this guy? Get two guys on him, hope he fails to dodge. 50% dodge to get a single die on him doesn't seem very good, especially since we only have two heroes already. A hit on this guy, we have no tackle or, or, or any of those. Hmm. Two die. Wouldn't be a three die unless I move both of them in there. That would mean no foul. Okay, well. You can't go anywhere. Let's stand you up though. This is a two die with tackle. I guess we take that. A two die with da dauntless is what I meant to say. And mighty blow. Another knockout. Okay, well, this is this is good times. Let's hope he doesn't get all these guys back. And that'll be good for us in the long run. This is now a one die. Could make it a two die. We could run this guy up here and get a three die on him and still have a guy to mark with. I would like to hit him with Mighty Blow, but we're gonna lose Barrick Farblast anyway if he scores there. So let's triple die that. 
Death Pow. Good, good. Okay, he gets to choose, of course. Follow, of course. We can't get in there to foul. We could foul from here, but that's not as, as uh, enticing, of course. Forty-two percent foul on a fifty percent dodge. Uh, looks like Far Blast is going to be blasting off again without doing anything. Now I've already blitzed. Well, let's get tackle on him if we can. Should have done that one first. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I guess I try that as my last move. First, though, let's. Uh, Let's hit this guy. Dauntless would make it a two die. He failed Dauntless. Uh, he has no uh, no uh, block though, so let's do it without Dauntless. And then we can hit this guy. I'm gonna do the dodge attempt to foul his uh, four agility. Oh, didn't work. Not worth re-rolling, I'm afraid. But that's what we wanted to do with Barrick Far Blast. We're not going to be able to do it now. He's going to be dodging out here on a 1 and 6. I don't think he can do anything else, can he? Well, he can tie him up in case it fails. Oh, he could... Oh, he can push himself free. Ooh, but he double skulled it. I guess that was it was a good thing for him. He didn't try to dodge because... Double ones would have, would have uh, failed. <laughs> oh, two guys back. Couldn't they've stayed out? Uh, I'm from Barrick for the center. Of course. We have no bribes, so goodbye, Barrick. At least you got to fail a dodge this time. And uh, his guard sword stayed out, so that's good for us. Well, I guess the tactic is the same, but without Barrick this time. Maybe we should use two runners, just in case. In case we need to get the ball out. Right, so we want a mighty blow blitz this way. Get this guy out. And then mighty blow again. Try to mighty blow on the block sources. And hope he doesn't get a blitz this time. Or at least not both a blitz and a kick in in this small area that he can actually reach. Oh well that's not me. Okay. Knockout, we didn't have to hit that guy. Was that the guy that was that just woke up? Uh, I'm not sure. So we could get Mighty Blow hits on both of them, but the first one would be a bit risky. Maybe we Blitz with the Mighty Blow instead on one of the sources here. So we knock this guy. Oh, that's a single. Hmm. You go up there, then we knock him. Ball we want, and then I can move up here. It's pretty safe. I guess this guy isn't blitzing anybody, so he can stand over here. Uh, right, so we mighty blow. Don't need Dauntless on the first, but we got it. We will need Dauntless on the second. 
got it. Good. Uh, but we didn't knock him down, which is bad. We can't do anything about that. Now we leave Dauntless on the first here. No knockdown. We have a good chance to foul this source. We do have a spare player. Or, I mean, we do have a spare player, yes. So, do I want to foul here right away? Get one of the sources out? It would be nice to do it before we move everybody. I did use both my mighty blows there, right, so... Where would we blitz? Would we blitz here? We should probably blitz here. Let's get... Who do we foul with? What is the foul chance right here? 58%? That's not super. I could bring him back. Bring him up here and foul. After we secure the ball. One, two, three, four. Mm, that's a going for it. But I would like to make our our guy here free, so that's good. I guess I could have left him there. He didn't have block. I think we need every assist we can here. Okay, but first I'm gonna pick up the ball. Sure hands does a thing. Okay, he can probably get skinks on us, but we, we can deal with that even though we don't have any tackle here. I guess if we don't get sent off here, we can uh, we can then move this guy. 92%, I like yeah. those odds. Trade a source for a lineman, probably good, if we can do it. Okay, we're all the three, I guess that's fair. No uh, armor break there. And we go... Over here, honestly. That's too bad. But we didn't get sent off. Let's one of our guys knock down. So he's probably just gonna scream here. He doesn't want to get into contact with these dwarves. He just wants to stop us from scoring this guy. And well. Foul on the Saurus is not going to be a good long-term strategy for us. We're going to get, se get guys sent off probably before we break his armor. Or before we get him permanently injured. So I could run up here, get a better assist on this. Try this again. And uh, we could also try to blitz someone. How many assists would I need? I'd need two assists to get this going. Probably, but his frenzy saurus would be a nice target for us. And then we could move the ball out to here. So we do not foul then. You stand up, tie up a saurus. No, that's where I'm hitting from. So this is a two assist. We don't need. Uh, Dauntless on the first. The second one we would need it because of that guy. Well, pretty safe where it is right now. No knockdown. Come on, we need Dauntless here. Got it. And no knockdown.
Oh, that means he gets a hit on our on our uh, Joe Slayer. Unless we dodge out. Also means I don't really want to go over here. Perhaps we just set up a cage and then we don't really have the foul option either. We have no one good to foul with. All our remaining players are kind of important, except maybe this guy. So I'm gonna go over here with the ball. And I'm going to... I'm not gonna foul him. I'm gonna make a bit of a cage here instead. I'm gonna keep some guys next to him so he can't stand up and blitz us. Right, well, if we can tie it this half, I guess we still have the... No, we don't. We use the wizard, right. We use the wizard to stop him when he blitzed us. And, well, it didn't work. So we're definitely playing uphill now. No permanent injuries either. Those both can get back. The only one who's permanently out is very far blast. So what's he doing then? Could bring a few skinks into assist here and then just frenzy this guy. Although he would have him too negative on the second, so we need a two positive to uh, cancel that out. That'll work. That'll cancel both of them and get an assist on him. But he needed to assist and he broke armor. That hit was free. We left him in tackle zones. He doesn't have block, but he got us. He's gonna move in. Blitz. Blitz our mighty blow. Of course, he wants to get rid of the mighty blow. That's not gonna do it though. Probably not a reroll. Push him, his own guy up and stand him next to the player. Nice move. Sadly, he has already blitzed. Otherwise, that would have been a great. Great move. We should have a two die to get him out of there. Actually, we can't get him out of there. We can only get him. He's gonna use skinks to tie up our horse now, so we don't get a good hit on him. Dodging out there is not super attractive. I guess we're gonna have to hope for a knockdown on our hit. I guess we could frenzy from here. And then if we get a push, then we at least we can push him out on a second hit. And then we still have our blitz to perhaps hit the skink. It's gonna make sure we can't go through there. We have a gap here right now, but he's gonna fill that up as well. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. See, this is a two die, two die, and if we get him knocked down, we could blitz through the gap here. This skink. Oh, he dodged out again. That's uh, interesting. He changed his mind there. Okay, so I think we try to get this guy this way, and then we could go through here. 
maybe we could even get him pushed and have these this guy free to move it's our last it's our last move do we have enough to make a cage in this area we would have one two guys who can move two three four this guy can't get very far one two three I guess he can be the closer this guy can get up to say there and then this guy could get up to there Mm, this corner would be weak though. This guy could also move up there and be on the back of it. Yeah, I think we do this. Dauntless. Didn't need it. Let's have some less pushes and more knockbacks, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. He's gone. Now we need to get through here. So I'll hit here and go here afterwards. This skink needs to go down. Actually, I could slip up to there, maybe. Let's see. That's good. I think I follow. Now we have a gap. I put him there, I could hit him with him and have him to go as well. Now where's the ball go? If I go here with the ball, I need a guy up here. And then I'd need a guy up there. I could move him if I get this hit. Yeah. This is not bad. This is not bad. Could I get a guy on this corner though? Over there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, perfect. So you go there. This corner's still free. Move him first, of course, because that doesn't take any rolls. And then... I haven't blitzed yet, either. I could blitz this guy, then I'd get Mighty Blow on him. No, I haven't blitzed. Right, I blitzed uh, this guy. Uh, so I put this guy over here. And then hit from here. Is that a single? That is a single, isn't it? Well, I only need a push. Uh, that's fine. Tie him up, and then you go down there. Not bad at all, I'd say. And the Crocs doesn't have... Uh, doesn't have blocks, so I think taking a hit on the Crocs is not too bad. Yes, perfect. Pops down. Ooh, we stunned him. Not bad. Now I can have a single on him, but I don't think I want to because if I feel that he's tied up right now, I guess since we have block, let's take it. Oh, well, we're getting lucky here. Lucky, lucky. Okay. Right, it's looking kind of good. He's going to have to use his skins to stop this. And we have tackle here, we have tackle here. We have a guard as well, so he can't really go into the cage or anything. So, hopefully we can at least get a tie out of this hog, which we should have had a lead on. A lead and then... That's the push there, that means he can't blitz, with, blitz the cage from here. If we, if we had a lead and the wizard still left, then we could have a chance at, at this. But he's at least going to have to, to score in the second half. It would be so awesome if we could get his agility skink out of this. Will he use his agility skinks to try and stop us from scoring here? Well, he's going to use skinks. Yeah, he's going to hit us here and try to get a sidestep skink on the ball carrier. Decent tactic. He gets the push, but he rerolls it. He wants the knockdown. Okay. 
Hmm. I can get the sidestepper off me just by blitzing from here. Wouldn't be blitzing his agility skink, but at least he'd be blitzing a skink. Uh, he could stand up here though to tie us up. That means we'd have to blitz with someone who doesn't have a block. He's dodging straight through our tackles on there. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Well, this guy's still available. And if he doesn't stand there, we could blitz from here. This guy would have to step out to here. He can't score either. He's too far away. Side step. If I hit him from here and it's a push, he goes there most likely. And then we'd be stuck where we are with skinks in contact and Saurus is on the way. A blitz here though. He'd have to move away from us. This guy's not doing much. He's standing up. Just get a bunch of guys on his ball carrier. Could get a die on him. If this is good though, if he goes down, what do I do? Do I knock him down and try to run? Now the skis would swarm us. So I just have to stay right where I am then. Push him away, we could move this guy. And this guy, but that's not enough for a cage anywhere. Maybe if I use these two. I think we just have to stay right here. Maybe we can push one forward. Okay, well let's let's go for this. We don't want the side stepper next to the ball carrier. Very good. Goes there anyway. I will follow that. That is good. Knockout would have been better. So we're not moving forward. We don't want the double skull, please. Uh, that's not going to do much. All right. Let's stand these guys up, I suppose. Could Coxie Blitz. Dauntless hit here. Dodge this guy, maybe. No reroll for this one. But I don't want to skink next to me. Okay, lucky. Very lucky, he's stunned. He's injured. Okay, that was an unimportant skink. Actually, it was a blood skink. We rolled a power on a single die. No, not too high, but still. Oh, he's gonna put carry that, and he's back. He joins the substitutes. Nothing doing for us. Um, I can get through here. Do I want to dodge just to get a one die? We need to score in two. I think we dodge him. This guy's gonna have to stay where he is because he's not going anywhere. I've, I have blitzed. Let's try this. We can get Dauntless to get a single die. And a push. Again. Dauntless. No Dauntless. But that's still okay for us. It was worth it because we had Mighty Blow, I think. Alright, well, the rest of them is gonna stay. Tie them up. He can hit us here, and if he gets that, he can blitz. Oh, he can blitz us here, I guess. That would be a pain. At least we would have this guy to counter. He starts by knocking him off. That means he can bring this Proxigore into the cage. Onto the cage. If he doesn't bonehead. And 
I did. I jinxed it. I can use my jinxing power for good. Uh, he did make the hit there first. So that'll base this guy. I can have one die to get him back off. And he just dot blitz this guy. Push. Not what he wants to see. I'm sure. But we're gonna have to blitz to get him off there. Maybe. Maybe not. No, he's gonna dodge the skinks out. If you're also one that he has to reroll. Three skinks in front of us. No one in contact with the front of the cage. And he's gonna hit us back. Still nothing. It's an epic battle with blocks. Right. So what I'm thinking is you step in here, use this to hopefully push him off with a two die. Then we would have three four guys who can move. If we blitz this skink, we could then move this way, perhaps set up a cage with these four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can get to the front, he can get to the front, he can get to that back side. I think that's our best play here. I'm gonna leave him here so if it's a knockdown I can push him onto the guy. This guy should be standing, this guy should be standing. We have one more turn after this. This should be a two die. Need a push. Knockdown's better. I'll take it. I'll stay. Okay, now we need to get... Where's the cage gonna go? This guy's gonna be blitzing. So one, two, three, four. You can get to there. Push the skink to there. That means the rest of them should be here and here and here. So we can't really get an assist on this skink to make it better. Maybe if I want to... If I use him for the close side, well then I can't get an assist on it anyway, can I? I can put it here, but I think I want to go all the way down there. Oh wait, he, he has to be on the last place. Okay, so I think I move this guy here. This guy here. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Wall carrier goes there. This guy goes here. Hmm. Well, I guess you can blitz from there. That's an okay cage. And we really only need a push here. That's a little bit worse than a push. That's good. What else do we have? We have a single eye on no mark here. Push him off us. I guess we want to keep him in Tiger Zone. Yeah, let's do that. And then we have this one again. This is more of a hope we get Dauntless, hope we get a POW. And we did. Can we get rewarded? No. So it didn't do anything, but I still think that might be worth taking with Mighty Blow. One source out, uh, stunned, or not stunned, but if he's knocked out, he, uh, it's, it's really helpful for us. So we want to score here, and then he could one turn us, possibly. We'll try to, to stop that. He could put all those skinks in front of us, make it difficult for us to score. We have no reroll, so we would probably like to not try to hit in next turn. We might lose our score there. And his one turn ability is not terrible, but also it's not a guarantee that he'll get a chance even. 
the agility skin can of course run through any sort of uh, backline defense we put up, but he would need three push pushes and two going for it. He's gonna get the non sidestepper skink in there. Maybe. All he needs. He needs to. We have no tackle in front of the cage, actually. That's too bad. He has a reroll, but he probably wants to save the reroll for the one turn. Okay. Stop us from going that way, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a going for it. He's gonna try to blitz us uphill here. Made the dodge, got the double pow. Nice one. That's a bit unfortunate, but I guess it was a 25% chance of knocking us down there. And he can just use the agility skink too. Ooh, and he finally failed. But he can reroll that. It was a tackle. Ooh, he failed it twice. Come on, be knocked out. Okay, good. Now, can we score now? We're probably gonna have to do a tough pickup, and of course, land next to the source as well. It's the only way it could go. Oh, no, not really. Um, yeah, he can't score anymore. He can pick up, though, and hand it to someone who can. Um, although, I would prefer it not to be this guy. He has two agility. That's the this guy. So this guy's our only option, then. Then we'd have to pass it or pick it up on a two agility anyway. I guess we could score from here if we blitz him free. But then who picks it up? Same, same uh, question. The age-old question. We're probably not doing anything else with him. And I guess we can get over here. So we can push this guy off the ball. This guy could pick it up, but he can't move off the ledge. He's too far away, really. Okay, well that's good. He has a turn after this, but he can't score, so we don't need to worry, really. Uh, I could bring this guy up. But he can't really do anything for our position here. So this would be a short pass. 67 pickup with the free reroll. 67 pass, 67 catch. So less than 50% to score. Can we get it better? If we blitz this guy off from here, say, we could get 1, 2, 3, 4. 67 pickup, 5, 6. One go for it, 67 handoff. That's two 67s and 183. This is two 67s and one 89. So that's actually better. What else is there? There's nothing better, is there? Of course, this would... Uh, this would benefit us in that we get to blitz a skink. No, no, we wouldn't. We wouldn't hit him with him anyway. We should probably still blitz a skink. Okay. Fine, I guess. Okay, we can choose who we want to try and score on. Uh, 8 out of 16, 9 out of 16, both have 3 agility. You go in like this, and the other guy would go in like that. Not sure I want to do anything else. I guess I could 2 die this guy. Hopefully get something to happen. I didn't use no. We still have him. Ooh, that was close. Need a block. That was one of the reasons I wanted to do that. Nothing, okay? Well, pick it up. That should be the easy part. Now, do we want to... Uh, can go here. It's the same chance for either. Who would you rather have a touchdown on? 
Uh, I know the time's getting tight. Nine, eight. I think we tried to pass it to to him. Oh, he failed it. Too bad. So we're gonna be down a touchdown on our half. Really bad, but at least he only gets one wake up roll for his three knockouts. Proxy up. Yeah. I guess that was a bad thing about going there. But if we wanted to pass to him, we wanted to go there, I suppose. No danger. He could get going for it with his 67 dodge. With reroll, that's probably good. And he gets a hit with no block. A push. Okay, that's all he can do then, really. Yeah, okay, let's hope he doesn't get the knockouts. I guess he can make a pass here if he can get the ball. Stunty pass. Best pass. For one SPP on his unleveled up skink. Worth doing now, of course. Can we get an intercept on that? Maybe we can get two SPP. Oh no. The pass was uh, inaccurate. Okay. Not the best first half. At least one. Ah, uh, that's his guard source that got up. But at least we're. He's two players down. I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, he had a spare source, uh, spare skin. Now, how do we want to set up this? He can hit us even with guard on everybody, so we probably want to use the level one guys. We can use one runner, Silver Seamus. Uh, We want to keep our mighty blows as protected as possible. Probably go one up with everybody. Let's leave the middle open, but I'm going to put him there. I guess he can go through on the sides if we do this. But he can get through anywhere with that skink. Can these guys reach? Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's go with this. It's gonna have to get it to the forage of the skink. No, the four agility skink stayed out. Oh, that's that's big. That's big for us. So he's gonna have to use a three agility skink, which is much tougher, really. Their dodges are 60, 67% instead of 83. Now we get a blitz. Uh, we can't really do much. I guess if the ball lands here, we could return the favor from the first half. He's going on that side. Yeah, short kick here, then blitz. How lucky do we need to get? It looks pretty short, and we got the blitz. Oh, well. I guess uh, fair is fair then. So we blitz this skink. We get this guy. <laughs> GG. Uh, can we get a three die on that skink? I'd like to get a little bit closer. How close? This guy can get with one going for it. This guy needs one going for it. This guy needs one going for it. This guy would need one going for it. And this guy would need one going for it. So I guess my my setup was kind of 
Good. Okay, let's go there. Let's have a blitz here. Actually. Let's have a blitz there. I'm gonna move this guy up to get a triple die on him. Mm. Alright, let's triple die him without tackle. And mighty blow. Yes, thank you. Okay, mighty blow doesn't work. Now I want to... Do one go for it? Ow! Mm. It is worth re-rolling, I think. If we have a chance to get the guy under that ball. And before we do that though, we want to reorganize the rest of them. I think we want to tie up a Saurus here and here. So he can't have many Sauruses free. Can he free himself if I put him here? Yeah, he could. He could free that guy. I guess I put him here. And then this guy goes... ...here. And then I try to get under the ball. Of course, I've used my reroll now, so if this doesn't work, then... ...then it's... ...too bad. Hopefully he's not injured or hurt. Well, I guess he managed to bounce it back to us. Okay, well, that's the best start we could have hoped for. For the second half. He gets a hit of him, on him, of course. Can scatter the ball loose, maybe. Maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe I've stood outside there. Can he freeze anyone up here? I don't think he can. Yes, he can. He can free him up, but that's a double skull, so he needs to use his reroll for that. And then... Oh, he, he can't... Oh, that was a... Turn of, uh, I mean... A stun. He can't really blitz us off, though, without going for it, because the ball's in the way. And, of course, our down guys. He could have avoided it if he pushed this guy to there and then gone this way, but then he'd have guard on him, so that's not good. Yeah, we need to steal twice to win this game. Uh, he gets one going for it. If it fails, it's a turnover. If it doesn't fail, it doesn't get us down. So all he can really do is try to pick it up in a tackle zone with a 3 agility stink. No sure hands. Of course, that's a 50% of working, so it's better than not trying, I believe. If he gets unlucky on this, though... No, he, he got the opposite of unlucky there. He got the ball out. Oh, that's a shame. That's a good opportunity gone, I think. I could get an assist, Dauntless, one, two, three, four, no, there's no way. Blitz here, but that doesn't mean we get the ball. Oh, well, I guess at least he used the reroll. We have no two dies here because they have guard. Could get a single die on him. And maybe our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we can't reach. We can blitz him. Get a bit of presence on both sides, I suppose. We're way out of position here. We can get a single die on him. Could get a two die on him. But no tackle on next to the dodge skink. It's not going to do as much good. This tackle is not much good either. I think I want to Dauntless this guy away. 
I don't want to be this far out of position, really. Neither of these can move. Hmm. Good position. No, I think we want our guys on the right side here. Maybe we can dauntless him anyway. So I'm gonna take this hit. Got it. Go for a single die here since he doesn't have block. At least we can get our assist in here, maybe. That would mean plus two minus one single die. Not super. Can't get in there. No, it's just no good. Get up here then. I guess we take the negative die on the Coxy. Because then we could free him up. And yeah, that's good. He doesn't have block, so I can do that without too much of a concern. I guess we push him there. Oh, he's free to move though. And this hit is now a single. Can't make it a two. We could try for this. Have I blitzed? I don't think I have. Yes, I, I have. Dauntless, two die. Push. Ouch. This way. I want for a single die. Oh. I guess the single dies are better than the two dice sometimes. <laughs> and we broke armor and knocked him out. Well, that's uh, an unlikely event. Now, what can we do here? Just stand up or go here? Uh, I kind of want to get him back here if we can. Just a gamble. Okay, that's gonna make it tougher for him to get out of there. I guess he can go this way. Okay, well that was all our time used. Could have taken a single die there, but I think we got enough single die luck there. He's gonna blitz us off. Doesn't want to try the 1 in 36 failure chance dodge. He doesn't have to. Now, where do you go with the ball from here? I suppose he could just run for it. One, if he can assist here, get him out and then run this way. Two die there. Yeah, we can't catch that skink now. He just moves the crocs. He's free to move up here. Oh, bonehead. That's the worst time to get bonehead. Well, he can go around him, but now he has to dodge through us. Oh, he re-rolled the bonehead. Yeah, that's that's very good. We can't catch that. We have no tackle on that guy either. We can dodge this guy out on a... on a 3+, plus, but now that won't work. Oh, we failed that. And he used his reroll earlier. Alright, so I guess we have that, at least. 3, 4, 5, 6, since we have the movement. Let us... Yeah, we're way out of position. I, I got too greedy with trying to hit this Saurus down here. That wasn't the best case, one, best uh, thing to do when we didn't have the ball. Oh, 
Bolt carrier over here. Tie him up. I guess we could free this guy up, but he can't get through anyway, right? One, two, three, four. Still probably worth doing. Uh, no, that's just a single line, that's not worth doing. Unless we hit this guy, then uh, that's not gonna work. I'm not gonna have any guy to pick up the ball with anyway. Alright, guard. Need a dodge, but we need a power here to get him down. That's not good enough. Reroll for the chance. Luck. Luck, all luck. Ball comes the wrong way. Mm. That's a negative die. Alright, let's try the one die to get this push. Oh, we got a knockdown. Beautiful. Oh wow. Look out on the one die. So we get this guy down, hopefully. To take him as well. Pow, 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 pow. And on a break. No knockout this time. Alright. Well, all we would have needed is the ball. We certainly got the bashing luck we needed. Now he can just pick it up and uh, get out of our get out of our sight here. And I guess he needs to step the crocs now. But he doesn't have to score, it's us that has to score. There he goes, he's gonna blitz us there. I guess this is kind of risky if he'd rolled a 1 in 9 there, he couldn't have re-rolled it because of an owner. Ouch! Well, he has to stun. That means he can't chase this skink if he goes off now. We do have tackle on him, so if he rolls a 1, he has to use his own reroll. This hit is, of course, tempting. He has this skink as well. He should stun him up first. And maybe go... Maybe just stand next to the ball, I guess. That's a blodge. Block and dodge. All right. Since he's stunned now, he doesn't have to worry about him. He could just pick the ball up and go this way. He's gonna take that first, and there's his reroll gone. Oh wow! That's not what he wanted to see. Quad skulls. What can we do now? This guy's free. Two. One, go. Uh, we need to push the skink out of the way though. We just one by it, or can we get someone up there? I guess if we can get this guy knocked down, we can move a guy in there pretty easily. So, this is two chances and a dauntless, and even if we only get a push, it's fine. Of course, we get the knockdown though. Let's go there. No, that's that's where I needed to assist on the freaking state. Oh well. I can go up here, that's fine. And this needs to be a knockdown to get him off us. And it is. Oh. 
It's even a stun. Yeah, we pick it up and start moving, right? Well, we need to cancel that guy, I suppose. He's a good target. You do it. Uh, you're free. Where do we want to go? If we get it, we can go to here-ish. Do we hand off to this guy? Uh, go in here, hand off like nobody's business. Uh, I don't think so. It's gonna be... A it's gonna be a while to score here. I don't think we can score fast enough. How far can we get? Can get to there. One going for it, maybe? Sure hands had to be used. With one go, we could pass it to him and run, but I don't think that's our best bet. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'd need three going for us to score in two times. If we want to win this. And we should play for the win. We can't just say that, oh well, we don't have a qualifying chance. So we shouldn't play for a win here. I'm going to stay here though. This is a pretty good cage. Let's uh, keep these three on them, I guess. And bring this guy out to here. Here. That's fine. Did I blitz? I think I forgot the blitz. Well, uh, it would have cost us a couple of guys to blitz the only guy left standing, which was this box. I guess I left in that one. Well, he's gonna have to reroll that. He can't reroll it. That's unfortunate for him. So we sprint downfield this way. Do we want to do goals here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two goals next time. Or one go now. Two goals next time is better, right? Um, he has the Saurus dodge to do something to us. We can, I guess, oh uh, yes, this guy can move a little bit, can't he? Okay, let's move him up here, assist on that. One, two, three, four. If we do this first, we can do it. But we will play for that, of course. Um, this guy here? I do give him a skink chance here. Mm. So I'm gonna bring in a few guys down, but I'm... I want to knock that Saurus down for some reason. That is... Push. Push, push, okay. Well, I guess we freed up that guy. He can go down there to assist. I guess that works. We can now knock him down. Maybe. That's good. I'll stay to keep this thing decent. Now, who do, hit, who do we hit this guy with? The Mighty Blow. The Mighty Blow. Always the mighty blow. This is good. That means I can... He has no rerolls. Let's keep tackle on this skink. And let's bring... This guy... I guess we could do a handoff. For one less going for it. But the going for it is easier. So put him here. Just in case. Put him here. And then we have this. Could blitz to get... Uh, I guess we can take this hit anyway. Hey. 
not going to use a reroll for that. And why not? I mean, he doesn't have block. That's why not, I guess. Now the Croxy can move. And we get knocked down. But he can't really stop us with the Croxy. The only one who can reach is these two skinks. Oh, we can reach just with the Croxy. Wow. I totally underestimated the Croxy's movement. He made the Saurus dodge, he made to go for it, but failed the second going for it. That is. That's sad. You sort of deserve to get that. Okay, well, let's tie him up again. And uh, we have a hit, we have a hit on him. It is good, I suppose. We have Mighty Blow here and Frenzy. Come on, no more pushes. I can't complain about the dice, but uh, I really do not want to push there. Come on. I guess we could blitz him without Mighty Blow. But what's the what's the chance of it having anything good happen from that? Not very big. Nah, let's just not waste a reroll on this. So I'm gonna move this guy down here in case we slip and hunt ourselves. We have someone to pick the ball up with. And then Go for it. Reroll worthy? Probably. Let's hope his for agility Saurus doesn't uh skin doesn't wake up for agility Saurus. Let's see, Skink stay down, Skink stay down. One knocked out. Oh wow, everybody got out. Yeah, that's probably cost us the tie to score that early. Because now the this skink is back and he's a beast. At least we have bomb block Saurus out. We go with the same defense. He's gonna have to go for go for a, a quicker attack this time. Maybe we pull back a little bit, but we're gonna have to go for a quick attack as well. So maybe we go for a, another uh, bit. Uh, no, that's that's unlikely to happen. Move these guys a little bit outwards. Well, right then. So he's, as long as he gets the ball on this thing, <laughs> he respects the blitz this time. Uh, as long as he gets the ball on this skink, he's gonna, always going to have a chance to just run straight through us with only only uh, one in six dodges. He has other rerolls, so there is that, and there's only three turns to go. Well, let's see what the kickoff is this time. Thirsty Thomas suffers an injury. Our guard guy is knocked out. Well, could have been better. Um, I thought to carry that. He's he's still on the field. We need him. Hopefully, hopefully he can do something useful. There's the pickup. Then he just needs to force him forward into scoring position. And then he dodges through everybody. With no reroll, mind, so we want to keep tackles, so that is actual tackle guys in front. So that's one more reason we wanted him back. We're actually short on tacklers. 
seems like. Yeah, of course, I put them on the line. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have put, like, this mighty blow on the line instead. Right, he is building up a sideline advancement option here. Oh, and he failed to pick up. Wow. Oh, it's those ones. Let's just skink get guys on the ball. Put an assist here, take a one die on him. Push him onto the ball. If we hit this guy, we have to use tackle because he has sidestep and he can be re really annoying with that. I'd really like to get some tackle on the ball so this guy can't just pick up pick it up from uh, underneath us. Can I get a triple die on this maybe? No, he has guard here, that's too bad. Otherwise I could have put two guys here. Actually I could put this guard here and hit it from here. At least get one one triple die on him with uh, mighty blow. And then if it works, I can move up here. I can move him up there. Might as well do it straightforward then. So I can use that guy. Where do we put him? Back here. Tie up that one. So he has less sources to blitz us with. Would like to have him down there. Oh, I can hit from here, maybe. But then I can't go through, really. I need this space open. Well, it's gonna have to be like this to get the triple I. He has sidestep, so it's only the first one here that's really good for us. Yes. And stunned. I'll take that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I can still try to pick the ball up if I'm standing here. I could go for it to get there with him. 33% pick up. Ew. And he'd have a hit on us. Probably don't want him out there. I'm gonna put him there. Get one minus on this guy if he hits us from here. But trying to get the ball here. If we want to win, this is probably our play. Then I dodge him out if it works. Get a free rear on that. Alright. Dodge. No. Is that our reroll here? If that dodge works, can he get to us? Can he free up a Saurus? I don't think he can. Yes, let's dodge that, that one. He's gonna have to skink hit us. No more going for us, of course. Well, at least we made his job a lot harder. That was his... He's rolled some awful dice this half. Quad scrolls, one on a pickup. Some more that I don't know, I uh, don't remember. That bonehead doesn't help. Yeah, his dice has been awful this game. It looks so good for him too when it started this. Yeah, this is gonna be a skink blitz. He's gonna have to try it with a one die, I believe, so he can pick it up on this guy. No more skinks available. No sources can dodge out. This source can't get there. Oh, okay. He's gonna use. He's gonna put this skink in scoring position instead, so we can hand off to him next turn. Wow, well, desperate place. Also desperate measures. That means he can reach us with two goals here. He needs to make those goals if he's gonna have a chance here. He made the first, 
Made the second. Didn't get the knockdown. Ouch. Well, he has another shot. Single die with the skink. That means he can't pick the ball up this time. He can also try to dodge. Wow. <laughs> like nothing. Dodge the Saurus. He does get the knockdown with a boat now. Does incapacitate this guy. And the ball is loose. So he still has a chance. As you can see, he's, he's taking his last chance here when he can. We have two turns, so if we want to score, we need to get someone in scoring position right about now. Exciting stuff. We could try to frenzy him, but if we get a push, it's bad. We could get the ball loose that way. We could pick it up though. I guess we could pick it up on Hair of the Dog. I guess we would be better off to blitz with Hair of the Dog. Push it onto the ball and then perhaps have one for the road to pick it up and go. Would love to get someone else in scoring position first. They're just so slow, everybody, strangely enough. Well, the benefit of this... Okay, you need to move first, I guess. He has... Yeah, his tackle sounds are gone. So let's stand up here and knock this guy away. Push. Well, I'm not going to roll that. We have another chance at it. Even though I would love to not push him this way. Well, he can't do much else. Means we can't get this guy down here, which I was hoping for. Um, if I stood here, I could push him onto the ball and get to die next as well. But I still need to move this guy first. This is risky. Actually, this is pretty good. Just go up there. Let me blitz from here. Let me pick it up in the tackle zone. No, right, we're gonna push him onto the ball, hopefully. Well, we can push him onto the ball anyway, right? Dauntless. Gets the knockdown. Hope it bounces away from this king. Oh, don't catch it. Well, I guess that's okay. But we need to get someone else in scoring position. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, here is okay. Here's better. He's in scoring position now. We don't need to do the going for it. We can save that for next turn. Can we make this any better? He can just stand up and blitz us there. So we need to get this, I suppose. Love to have him on the skink. That's just to protect from the... Well, that doesn't help really. Let's put him there. What can I do though? Let's, let's try to dodge this guy into scoring position as well. Well, we have no rerolls left, so it's going to have to be this guy scoring. We did put an assist on him. And he's going to have to get the ball up here. He's going to try everything to do that because he's 12-0. He wants to win this game. Wow. We got the assist, if he can do all the dodges, yes. That means he can make a frenzy here. Now he needs to cancel him out. Yes, good. Now he can make a two-die frenzy here. Get the ball loose. Yeah, that's probably our winning chance of going. Where does the ball end up, though? It's still in a tackle zone. It's bad for him. He's going to have to pick it up now in that tackle zone. And then hand it off and probably pass as well. Or do a longer pass. Oh, wow. Well. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we can still win this. Don't let him stand up here. Get a two die on him. Run over here, pick it up, pass it to the to the guy. Blitz. No, we don't want to push him that way. So we stand up here, push him that way. Get Dauntless here. Um, I guess we go this way and push him this way next time. There's the Dauntless we wanted. Okay, well that works. I guess I would have liked to go this way, but I didn't want to tie this guy up, of course. Do we have anyone who can assist? He's still boneheaded, so I guess we could get this guy free to get up there. Yeah, that's probably worth the rolls. He can't do anything, so don't worry about him. Get a triple die here. We want to push him off us. So take that. Two die push. One in 36. He's boneheaded, right? Yes. Push him off us. Push him off the ball. Now this needs to be a knockdown. Because we don't want him neither there or there. Okay, lucky. Take that. Follow. So we have that space free. Injured defensive guy. This next game, that's gonna hurt. Let's make it worse. Um so pick up pass, that's all we have. And we failed it. Okay. Fair enough. We didn't get the win. That would have been almost too much. But we did manage to draw against... against Jimmy Fantastic here. And... Uh, he's a good player. Definitely. He's already... No, wait. That's not him. That was another guy. He, he's not qualified. But he, he's very close to qualifying in, uh, in the leagues, I believe. Or he was very close. But this team was uh, is his best chance at the moment, and now they have a draw. Hopefully he can still make it in though, he's a good player and he deserves to be in the World Cup. 11 armor breaks for them, uh, for us, 3 for them, that's uh, pretty awesome. All those knockouts. Look at that, he didn't uh, break anything on us, of course with dwarfs. That's, there's that, we took twice as many blocks as well. But still, three, 6 of them and he got 0. A lot of those were not on skinks as well, so both the block luck and the, the luck on pickups and stuff were not on his side. But still, a uh, very, very good result for us. So we we now go to what is it? Three, two, and one. That's not going to qualify anyone, but. Uh, the team is developing nicely, even though we still can't see them. No level ups. No level ups at all. We still have the levels on the right players, though. So, yeah. Good game. Good game. That'll be it for this one, though. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the match. And I hope to see you back for the next one.